රටම දන්න ඉංග්‍රීසි මීඩියම් ක්ලාස් එක සෝනි බ්ලොග්ස් බයි රොවිනි නානායකකාර දැන් කන්ද උඩ රටට ඉංග්‍රීසි මාධ්‍ය නව පන්ති වහනුවර IMS ආයතනයේදී අට ශ්‍රීනි සිට සාමාන්‍ය පෙළ දක්වා හිස්ටරි ජියෝග්‍රැෆි සිවික් එඩියුකේෂන් හෙල්ත් එඩියුකේෂන් ඉංග්‍රීසි මාධ්‍ය පන්ති විමසීම් බින්දුවයි හැත්ත හැතයි හැත්ත හැතයි බින්දුවයි හයයි දෙසිය හතලි සය බින්දුවයි හැත්ත පහයි අසු හතරයි පනස් හතයි අටසි අසු දෙක Hello everyone, today we are going to start from your grade 8 civic book that is public services. Okay Putara, now you can see this is the first lesson of you, public services. Now we you know what are the public services. Okay, so uh, around you, you can see many public services around you. Now here there is an introduction. Okay, let's start the lesson. The objective of providing public services is to generate qualitative development in the living conditions of the general public. Public services are provided both by the government and the private sector. By studying this chapter, you will be able to identify what public services are, identify the manner in which these services contribute to the well-being of the general public, examine the institution that provide public services and the responsibilities of those institutions, develop the competencies on fulfilling the obligations that you have when making use of the public services okay putala now usually you all have a brief idea about what public services are but here from this lesson you are going to learn many more things about this okay now here the objective of providing public service each and every service there's an objective behind that okay so especially whether it is a government sector or else whether it is a private sector so all those are given a public service so the objective of providing public services is to generate qualitative development in the living conditions so each and every services they make you a better life so public services are provided both by the government and the private sector already I have mentioned this by studying this chapter you can be able to learn about then you will be learn about identify what public services are and the other one is identify the manner the way in which these services contribute to the well-being of the general public so from this you can learn about many more things about their services and all and the third point examine the institutions that provide public services and the responsibilities of those institutions okay and the last point develop the competencies on fulfilling the obligations that you have in making use of the public services okay now here we are going to enter for the lesson let us identify what public services are okay now we are going to identify what public services are we make use of various services in order to get our daily needs fulfilled. Think of the services that you make use of as a member of your family and as a member of your school. Okay, now you have to broad your mind as a member of your family and as a member of your school. So you can see around you, you can find many more public services around you. They are trying to fulfill our needs. So public services are the services supplied by the private sector and the government which can be utilized by all the people in common with the objective of developing living conditions of the people okay now just think about the village boutique or else a supermarket or else a, a school so a school is related for those who are going to government schools so we can take it as a government sector or else if we take as a supermarket uh, or else a village boutique so those are related for private sector but each and every places they are trying to fulfill our daily needs and all whether it is a private sector and whether it is related for government sector all are giving if all are doing the same job public services that we make use of now here now in these pictures you can see the public services that we make use of here water supply now we know what what is the service they are giving from the water supply and drainage board health service this is these days this is really important because of the ongoing pandemic situation you know 
എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ട്രാൻസ്പോർട്ട് ഇലക്ട്രിസിറ്റി കോപ്പറേറ്റീവ്സ് കമ്മ്യൂണിക്കേഷൻ സെക്യൂരിറ്റി സർവീസസ് പോസ്റ്റൽ സർവീസസ് ഓക്കെ നൗ ഹിയർ യു ക്യാൻ സി ട്രാൻസ്പോർട്ട് ഓൾസോ വി ക്യാൻ ഡിവൈഡഡ് ഇൻ ടു പാർട്സ് സോ പ്രൈവറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഗവൺമെൻറ് കോപ്പറേറ്റീവ്സ് ഓൾസോ ക്യാൻ ബി സീൻ ബട്ട് ഹിയർ ദീസ് കമ്മ്യൂണിക്കേഷൻ ഓൾസോ ക്യാൻ ബി സീൻ സെക്യൂരിറ്റി സർവീസസ് സം ഹൗ ക്യാൻ ബി സീൻ പോസ്റ്റൽ സർവീസസ് Uh, postal services also we can take it to government sector but nowadays we can see some courier services as well those are related to private sector and the water supply uh, is uh, government sector health education so all education also uh, can be private and the government health there are private and the government sector too but the most appropriate way is government sector English medium Sony vlogs by Rovini Nanayakara. Then, History, Geography, Civic Education, Health Education, English Madhya Panti, Vimasin, Bindway Hathya Hathay, Hathya Hathay Bindway Hayay Desiya Hathali Saya, Bindway Hathya Pahay, Asu Hathray Panas Hathay Atasya Su Deka. Okay, now here, Public services can be classified based on the way how they are provided to the general public. Now here, public services can be classified based on the way how they are provided to general public. Now we are going to classify these things. Now you can see here, public services is divided into three parts. Free services, public services supplied on the basic of charging concessionary rates. and the third one public services supplied by charging money free services we can take uh, the government service they are giving for free no so public services supply on the basics of charging concessionary rates means somehow we can take government as well because they are giving services for concessionary rates and the public services supplied by charging money mean um, actually private sector but all those are coming under public services Now here Putala public services play an important role in the modern society government provides a number of public services free of charge certain services are provided at concessionary rates government spend a large sum of money in order to maintain these services taxes collected by the government and the other income of the government are used in providing these services okay As a member of your society now you have a good understanding about the taxes and all okay public services play an important role in the modern society we know about that government provides a number of public services free of charge they are giving everything most of the things are for, uh, free of charge certain services are provided at concessionary rates that mean for affordable prices government spends a large sum of money in order to maintain these services especially the schools health sector all those things we can take taxes collected by the government and the other income of the government are used in providing these services usually as a human being as a member of the society we have to pay some money uh, as taxes for the government so government they are collecting the money and they are Uh, some they are giving some services for free especially the health sector and all they are using those money for developing purposes of the country and necessity of public services okay to make daily activities of the people more convenient to make living conditions of the people better so each and every places they are giving as i mentioned you already whether it is related for private sector or else whether it is related for government sector but all those are giving all those are trying to give a better life for us to supply the services which people cannot obtain individually especially electricity public transport so people so usually to supply the services which people cannot obtain individually some people they have private vehicles and on but some people most of the people in sri lanka so they don't have private vehicles they have to use public transport and especially electricity also those things we have to uh, that mean those things we can obtain individually to provide relief to low income earners okay so that is very good point 
so to provide relief it makes uh, it gives a solution for low income earners to maintain interpersonal and intersocial relationships to facilitate economic activities like the production of goods distribution and marketing okay to facilitate economic activities okay now we are talking about the public services how would it relate to facilitate economic activities like production good distribution and marketing so somehow whether it is a government uh, government place or else so they have to combine with the public services also somehow so they have to use this that means they have to combine these two parts together to give a better public service to protect human rights to the fulfillment of social needs another one is to protect human rights through the fulfillment of social needs that's important to ensure social justice okay these are the necessity of public services these points are very important because uh, for the exam also they will ask you to mention about the necessity of public services putala and as an activity list the public services utilized by you now you know name two free services out of those services provided to you by the government explain how those services help you to make your life better okay now we are going to talk about evolution of public services in the past from the time of anuradhapura and polar naro kingdoms the rulers had sponsored to build tanks irrigation systems hospitals herbal gardens etc for the benefit for the public now you know ancient kings so they they contribute to make build tanks irrigation systems and all especially in polar naro era uh, anuradhapura era so we can see many more things about special related for irrigation and agricultural and animal husbandry okay so it is stated that during the region of king buddha das in anuradhapura era a physician had been appointed for each group of 10 villages kings had taken a step to build hospitals and maintain them along with herbal gardens evidence is found to prove that there had been religious place based educational institutes from the anuradhapura era okay now you know especially uh, in your grade 5 or else grade especially if you are going to dhamma schools also uh, you had to know about this king buddha das he was in anuradhapura era so he was a physician that means king had taken steps to build hospitals and maintain them along with herbal gardens so evidence also we can found to prove that there had been religious place based educational institutes from the anuradhapura era now here during the british rule 1815 and 1948 so several services had been initiated with the aim of providing facilities necessary for plantation agriculture and for the convenience of administration and defense now you know during the british rule also now you know we had our kingdom season especially royal royal period after that british came to our country and portuguese and many other foreign people we, uh, they ruled our country so now here this is an important part during the british rule of 1815 and 1948 so several activities had been initiated with the aim of providing facilities nowadays you can see uh, here there are many that mean in our country also the ruling system is based on the british rule so oh, that mean they have taken some rules from this uh, foreign uh, ruling system so oh, that mean initiated with the aim of providing facilities necessary for plantation agriculture and for the convenience of administration and defense now here public services started during the british period transport postal and telecommunication services banking services all those things took places in british period with the passing of the education act in 1945 free education prevailed as a public service dr c w w kannangura is honored for introducing free education to sri lanka Now this is the person Mr C W W Kanangar after obtaining independence in 1948 all the successive governments have taken steps to initiate and maintain several public services 
okay now you are getting education because of this person so you have to respect the person so activity there's an activity prepare a collection of articles relevant to public services that prevailed in the past including the following public services in the past okay now you can get the help from your grandparents if you have so what then you can get an idea about the public services in the past so rulers who sponsored those services okay putala next i hope to come with timely importance of public services see you soon atamadan english medium class ka suni vlogs by rovini nanayakara then kanda udarata english madhya navapanti mahanura ims aithanidi atashuni sita samanya pila dakwa history geography civic education health education english madhya panti vimasin बिंदुए हत्या हटाई हत्या हटाई बिंदुए हाय आई दिशिया हतली साया बिंदुए हत्या पाई असुहतराई पनस हटाई अटस्या सूदेका